Michel Marnet, the French heart crusher, sailed in cog tonight from Naples on board the Napoli. Why? Because Lois Clark and her 20 million smackers will be at the dock palpitating for him. And it's good news for us mere men, because when he arrives, Michel Marnet goes out of circulation. This time, it's marriage. Voici une nouvelle sensationnelle qui va briser bien des corps. Michel Marnet, le célèbre sportsman, s'embarque ce soir. Oui. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. And a nice crisp little titbit has just come in. Oh, by the way, I might mention I'm speaking from dear old London as usual. Well, it's rumored that Michel Marnet sails for America tonight to enter into matrimony, at last, with one of America's industrial nobility, a Miss, um, a Miss, uh, Louise Clark, the rock and gravel heiress, uh, stone and sand, you know. Well, that seems to be all. Good night. Senor Marnay? Senor Marnay? Senor Marnay? No. You on board? Senor Marnay? Senor Marnay? Senor Marnay? Senor Marnay? Senor Marnay, Senor Marnay. Mr. Marnay, would you autograph this picture of you? Please. Write something we can always remember. Something sizzling. girls, but you have very bad manners. Je m'en pardon, madame. Je crois que vous lisez mon télégramme. Uh -huh. I beg your pardon. I say, I believe you're reading my radiogram. Oh. Just a moment. Well, um, how do I know what you was? Can you identify yourself? Well, I am uh, Michel Marnet. Oh, don't tell me you're the fellow. Yeah. Well, this is, uh, this is pretty personal. Can you tell me what it says? It says, um, remembering a warm, beautiful night, the thunderstorm over Lake Como, and you. And you. But you. Oh. That's all right, huh? Mm -hmm. Those lines? Thank you. <laughs> Do you think he'll ever take the place of baseball? Did you lose it again? Look, I'm in trouble, serious trouble. Well, I could have told you playing around Lake Como, the poor no, thing. I must talk to someone. Well, I'm really not very good about that sort of thing. I talk a lot. I've tried to break myself of the habit. You have an honest face. Oh, you... I can trust you, can't I? Yes, I guess so. Come with me. But look, uh, the captain has an honest no, no. face, too, and the person... Uh, I thought he had a very honest... Shall we go to your cabin or mine? 
Mine. Well, maybe mine is closer. Uh, mine is here. Oh. Not that I'm prudish. It's just that my mother told me never to enter a man's room in any month sending an hour. Your mother must be a very beautiful woman. What's your name? Terry McKay. Terry McKay, and I'm traveling alone. That wasn't by any chance what was troubling you, was it? Yes. Oh, oh this is fine. I thought you'd like it. You saved my life, you know. I was bored to tears. I haven't seen one attractive girl on this boat since we left. Can you imagine? Nine days like that? Oh, this is terrible. That's not for me. I should be bright. I should be beautiful and bubbling like pink champagne. I got scared. I said to myself, don't beautiful women travel anymore? Evidently not. Then I saw you and it was all right. I was saved. I hope. See, Oh, thank you. Uh, have you been getting results with a line like that? Or would I be surprised? <laughs> but if you were surprised, that would surprise me. Sounds like a nasty crack. I could make a few, too, if I felt like it. I'm sure you could. I know I can. That's what I say. I think I will. How's your fiancé? She's got a cold. Oh, that's too bad. Got it Lake Como? No, no, she wasn't there. Oh, oh, you mean the lady of the lake was not... That was her best friend. Oh. Chummy bunt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this boat is going awfully fast. Only eight and a half days till we get in. Is there any reason why from now on it shouldn't be pink champagne? Mm. Don't tell me he's the fellow. <laughs> he's all right, huh? <laughs> Is nice. <laughs> Where is he now? Well, he's visiting his parents. He sends me on a buying trip every once in a while. You see, he's my boss, too. You don't think he would have poor pink champagne? Oh, you no, know? I don't. Well, I think it's very touching, you and him. Very beautiful. I like that. Oh, glad. He must be a very fascinating fellow. Well, you can just imagine how attractive he is when I can resist so charming a person as you. Yes. I think I'll go now. After all, I still have uh, deck tennis and uh, kino, and there is always shuffleboard. Don't tell me you're embarrassed. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. So if you don't mind, I think I'll take my pride for a walk. Unless by chance you care to have dinner, dinner with us. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> right. Oh, that would be very, very nice. nice. I love Instead of Mother Goose, you were probably brought up on the memoirs of Casanova. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you, you've heard of the little fellow, haven't you? I imagine you've known quite a few women, haven't you? Or maybe few is the wrong word. And I gather you're having very much respect for them. But you've always been very fair in your judgment. I beg pardon, Signora. Would you like me to reserve this table for you every night? Why not? You know, uh, no, I... Look, look. Let's talk about you now. No, no, not tonight. <laughs> Let's talk about me some other night. All right. Signor Marnay. Another one. And your name, please? Okay. Ah. Hmm. Oh, yes. What's the name of that uh, strange place you came from? Kansas. And from there? 
Well, then I went to New York and got a job singing in a nightclub from 10 to 3 in the morning. And then the manager used to chase me around his office till about 4. And then I went home. And then one night, he came along. Oh, yes. And he said I didn't belong in a place like that. He said that, um, it, hmm? I didn't say anything. Oh, uh, well, he said that, um, That you can I, improve yourself. Yeah. So I studied hard. So that someday you would be a charming and lovely wife. Yeah, that was the idea. Is there anything wrong with that? Oh, no. Well, that's what I thought. But nothing happened. Well, it just about brings us up to date. Now my life's an open book. It's only one page. It's the only page. I beg your pardon. Gotcha. Thank you very much. Oh, that's bad. Hmm? Um, oh. It's a beautiful camera you've got. Oh, there. yes. It takes very clear Oh, thank you. Oh, please, monsieur. Oh. Huh. I guess it isn't any good for either one of us to be seen together. Right or wrong, you know, people like to talk. Better be goodbye. What's the matter? Afraid? Of you? No. Well, after all, we're on the same ship. Still have eight days, you know. Well, you can take nice long walks out in the sunshine. What shall I do if it rains? No, it's no good. I see. It's particularly no good for you. Yes, that's right. Being seen with you is news, and I don't want to get my picture in the paper. So, I think we better spread out. Cigarettes? At the cigarette stand, sir. The pink champagne? Yes. Champagne cocktail, please. Yes, madame. Have you any pink champagne? Yes. changed my table to a table for one. So did I. It's too bad it had to be like that. We had such a delightful dinner last night. Parlez-vous in pay after lay?
fooling the world. Going my way? Calling on a lady. Oh, even in Madeira? No, you're wrong this time. My grandmother. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. She lives up on the hill. Would you like to meet her? Yes, I'd be very happy to. Come on, get in. She must be in the chapel. What is there about this place? This something makes you feel you ought to whisper. Another world. My grandmother's world. Tell me a little more about her. My grandfather was in the diplomatic service. They lived all over the world. This was his last post. He died here. So she stayed on to be near him. He's buried there near the chapel. She must be waiting, I think, a little impatiently for the day she will join him. Pourquoi ne m'as-tu pas annoncé ton arrivée Tu me crois que c'est bien que je me décide toujours au dernier moment et puis je voulais te faire une surprise. Tu vas vraiment te marier Oui, oui, après il paraît, je ne suis pas très sûr encore du tout. <rire> <rire> Laisse-moi te regarder. Regardez-moi ça, mais tu es rajeuni de 10 ans. Hein? Et c'est chaque fois la même chose, alors chaque fois que je reviens, je trouve plus jeune. Comment fais-tu ça hein? Comment fais-tu <rire> Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. May I present Miss Terry McKay? She thought you were the girl I'm going to marry. How do you do? How do you do? Elle est charmante. Elle me plaît beaucoup. Oh, pardon. I was only saying I liked you very much. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. If you'll excuse me, I'll sit down oh, for a moment. Yeah. I'm longer with my prayers these days and my knees. Well, they are as old as I am. Are you English? No, I'm an American. American? Do you know, my dear, I have a special fondness for America. It was my husband's first post after we married. Really? In fact, we went to Washington on our honeymoon. <laughs> you have a lovely place here. Thank you. I'd like to stay on forever. You are too young for that. It's a good place to sit and remember, but you still have to create your memories. Would you like to go inside the chapel? May I? How long has it been for you, Michel? Since you were an altar boy. Then you better go in, too. It won't hurt you. I know. 
I'll prepare tea. Good. Never seen such lovely colors. Mm -hmm. Everything's so vivid. Yes. Even the green seems greener. Yes, they. They get a lot of rainfall here. Who takes care of this place? Hmm? Oh, an old gardener. Will... There he is. Oh, well, on est content de vous voir, vous savez. Moi aussi, mon vieux. C'est une nouvelle? Oui, monsieur. Les tanières. Combien as-tu depuis que je t'ai pas vu? Trois. Oh. He's got three children since I have seen him. Well, Emile says, France needs men, so he has seven daughters. Seven? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I think I'm going to see the rest of the family. Tea will be ready any moment. May I help you? Thank you, my dear. Oh, where are your cups? In there. Thank you. I'm sorry. I had to let my maid go. I have to watch my expenses. You see, I planned on dying when I was 75. And here I am, 77. So if I am not going to die, I have to start saving my money. <laughs> you like it? Yes, it's charming. Who did that? Michel. Michel? He painted it for me. Why, it's good. He's very talented. Oh, forgive me. You see, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. Unfortunately, he is also very critical. As a result, he hasn't done anything since. What a pity. Besides, Michel is too busy... Mm, living? <laughs> Things come too easy to him, and he is always allured by the art he is not practicing, the places he hasn't been, the girl he hasn't met. I don't mind confessing to you, my dear, that I've been worried about him. Why? That one day life will present a bill to Michel, and that he will find it hard to pay. But when I, I see him with you, I feel better. I don't understand. He's going to be married and settle down. And can't you just see him with his slippers and his pipe? No. There is many a slip betwixt the lip and the altar. And anything could happen on a boat. Believe me, my dear. There is nothing wrong with Michelle that a good woman could not 
me he cried. Well, I saw Emil's entire family, seven daughters. I congratulated him, and I had a nice talk with his wife. How have you two girls been getting along? Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. I bet she did all the talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She told me that when you were a little boy, if you didn't get your own way, you used to lie on the floor and kick and get red in the face. And what did you sing? Well, I said you didn't do that anymore. Now, if you don't get your own way, you just get embarrassed. <laughs> what have you two been discussing? It seems a lot has been going on that I know nothing about. Eh, well, I'm afraid we must be going. Yes, sir. See? Janou, you must play the piano for us before we go. Oh, no, she was a great pianist, you oh, know. Come on. She's come on, going to play the right now. Uh, but, Miss Fair, look at my hand. <laughs> I was asked to do this. <laughs> This is as far as I can go. This is the boundary of my small world. It's a perfect world. Thank you for letting me trespass. Bye. God bless you. 
Well, Janou, I'll come back to see you very soon. Very, very well. And I shall write very often. You'll see. Please do. Like stormy weather ahead. We change our course today. I want to thank you for a lovely evening. I want to thank you for what was undoubtedly the loveliest day I've ever known. You've been very sweet to my little grandmother. I'm going to write to her. Oh, that'll be nice. Well, good night. into a rough sea, Michelle. I'll jump overboard. I thought you'd gone to bed. What good would that do? I can't sleep. Yes, I know. What I seem to do is turn, toss. Dreaming? I wouldn't call that dreaming. I'm awake. I'd call it wishing. My father used to say, wishes are the dreams we dream when we're awake. Your father said that? He drank a lot. <laughs> I wrote a song once about wishing. That's nice. Oh, my word. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean that. I mean, it was. Uh... It was not bad. You know, one day I'm going to learn your language and be very funny, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. How did it go? Hmm? Oh, I forget. But it meant. If you wish very hard with your mind, and if you wish very strong in your heart, and if you keep on wishing long enough and strong enough... You get what you want for Christmas? Yes. Well, we get in in the morning. Mm -hmm. Will he be waiting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I suppose if we have something in our minds, we better say it now. Yes. You know, I've never worked in all my life. In all my life, I've never worked. I've been thinking about that. What did you say? Hmm? I didn't say anything. You did too. 
He said I was very fond of expensive things, furs and jewels and things. Did, did they say that? <laughs> I guess you and I have been more or less used to a life of pink champagne. Maybe it'd be a little difficult to... Mm. You like beer? Yes, I do, but... Uh... Oh, no. It's bad for the figure. <laughs> My father used to say. It's a funny thing, but the things we like best are either illegal, immoral, or fattening. <laughs> I told you, you drank like a pig. <laughs> I wonder what your father would think of me. Never working. Not once. Well, just because you haven't... Oh, I didn't mean that I couldn't. I know, of course not. But I couldn't find out all at once. It would take me, oh, at least six months to find out if... Uh... If what? Well, it's hard to say. After all, it's unfair to ask you to take a chance. But... Um, if I work hard enough, and long enough, and if wishes came true, where would you be? What are you trying to say, Michelle? I'm trying to say that it would take me six months to find out if I'm worthy to say what's in my heart. Oh, that's just about the nicest thing. I think I'll turn in. Do a little more rolling and tossing. I'll think it over and let you know in the morning. Going my way? No, I think I'll, I'll walk a little. Marriage is a very serious step for a girl like me. Yes, I know. You like children? Oh, yes, I do. Even though we were in, I'm only half dressed. Look, if everything turns out all right for both of us, I mean, in six months. Yes. That's July. July, yes. I've written out these directions. Read them carefully so there won't be any mistake. Darling, that's me. Mm. July 1st, 5 o'clock, 102nd floor, top of the Empire State Building. Yes. That's it, right there. It's the tallest building in the world. You can't miss that. It's the nearest thing to heaven we have in New York. Be sure you take the elevator. <laughs> well, until we meet again, take care of yourself. Please. One more. Did you get it out? Will this do? Oh, that's fine. That's fine, Miss Clark. I 
Oh, Thank you. Just hurry. I'll hurry. Now, just one more. Oh, now, you'll excuse me. I have an appointment. <laughs> Oh, Michael, I'm so glad you're back. No, 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 no. Just say something. Let me look. Oh, it's wonderful to have you tonight. Rough crossing? Well, you wouldn't exactly call it smooth. We... I beg your pardon. Oh, excuse us. Sorry, darling, it's great to have you back. Well, it's great to be back, Ken. Yeah. Where's the keys? Don't unpack, Annie. I'm moving. Well, lots of good luck. Thanks. I hope you'll be working here. The terms are satisfactory, but as I said before... I know. It's not up to you. It's up to the customer. That's right. You sing, then we'll talk further. Uh, and if I can't find you, I'll <laughs> understand. That's right. They're applauding your two-dollar dinner. I'd like to talk a long contract. Six months. That's not a long time. Oh, yes, it is. Go on and dance, my heart. This is romance, my heart. So keep pretending.
something. <laughs> You're always so nice to me. Nice? But you are my nicest bird, then. <laughs> well, no matter what you say, I'm not going to pay you a cent more. Oh. <laughs> Who wants more money? I'm so happy you are here. You're always happy. What's the secret? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. My place is half empty. I have rheumatism. And my husband left me with five children and they are all ashamed of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you shouldn't be sorry. You should be happy. There is no boyfriends calling on you, so you don't get married. <laughs> and if you don't get married, your children won't be ashamed of you. <laughs> well, good night, dear. Don't you read late, because it's bad for your eyes. Night. I'm not going to worry about anything. Oh, you know, I joke a lot about marriage, but it can be a beautiful thing. You know, you should get married if you find the right man. Well, of course, I don't know where you will find him. Of course, but don't you marry a loafer like I did. It's just as easy to marry a man with lots of money. Maybe you don't love him at first, but you can teach yourself in six easy lessons. Just don't you marry a loafer. I married one. He was a prize winner. hoping you would like one of them. Well, I suppose if I can't sell my paintings, I'll get a job. Oh, I won't give up painting. Why, painting is a job. This is the only thing I know. But I've got to make money. Of a course, lot of money. Of course. Uh, in order to make money, you must eat. Even the new money gets hungry, you know. <laughs> Michelle! Michelle! Oh. I have good news for you. What? I sold one. Which one? The woman. I got a hundred dollars for. so happy about? I'm a painter. So am I. But I ain't happy. Oh, my dear, we've missed you. Well, I've missed you, too, Miss uh, Lane. <laughs> Miss Lane, I want to get something so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, um, simple, you understand, but uh, breathtaking. Oh, of course. Miss Webb, look who's back. Oh, oh Miss no, McKay. Who we were just saying, whatever happened to Miss McKay? And here you are. Oh, it's a wonderful. <laughs> Miss McKay is here, and we were just wondering. Miss McKay is there. Well, give her anything in the shop, but hold it till I get there, will you? You won't worry about her credit, will you? Yes. Yes, that's what we were wondering. I knew you'd understand, Mr. Bradley. Thank you so much. Hmm, I don't think you could make a mistake on either one. Oh, uh, excuse me, please. Uh, where should we have this set? Well, I don't know at the moment. I'll have to call back and let you know. I think that's right, isn't uh, it? No, uh, no, no charge? No, no. No? No, no, I know, I know. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, Miss McKay. Do come back again, please. Yes, don't stay away so long, my dear. Thank you. Goodbye, Miss Lane. Goodbye, Miss Lane. Ken, what are you doing here? How on earth did you know I was here? Oh. 
Oh, I see. What time is it, Ken? I'm late. Five minutes of five. It's good to see you again. It's wonderful to see you again. I've got so much to talk to you about. Can't we go someplace now? Oh, no, I'm in a hurry. But I've got so much to say. Well, call me up sometime. No, you can't do that either, can you, when I'm going to be married? Oh, then you are going to... Yes, Ken, and I'm late. What time did you say it was? Uh, four minutes of five. It looks like I came all the way down here just to tell you what time it was. Doesn't yes. It? <laughs> Goodbye, Ken. Goodbye. Good luck. Thanks, Ken. Imagine how excited I am. I thought 34th Street was that way, and it's down here. I'll save time if I get out here. I'm in a hurry. There you are. What's the rush? I'm going to be married, and I'd like you to be the first to congratulate me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Going down? No. What time have you got? Ten after five. X-rays aren't very encouraging. It's hard to say if she'll ever walk again. We can tell better in about six months. Are you the fellow she was yelling about under the anesthetic? Uh, no, no, that's, that's another chap. She was on her way to marry him. Has he been notified? No, she, she doesn't want that. Because until she knows what you say you won't know for six months, she, she'd rather he didn't know. That's being sensible. Nice girl. I think so. Excuse me. Well, we weren't sure whether or not we'd have you with us today. Oh, that this is the man. You know. Yes. He explained. Then you know. I was on my way to be married. A while I was on my way to be a good girl. I got hit right in the intersection of 34th and 5th. It wasn't anybody's fault but my own. I had an appointment way up. I didn't want to keep him waiting. Could have been beautiful. Marriage, I mean. Jim. Forgive me. 
forget me, Father. I'm a little weak. I'm getting out of exercise. Janu. Janu. Monsieur Michel, she gave me this to send to you. I was going to mail it today. She said it was for the young lady that was here with you. Sing your song? Mm -hmm. Know your parts today? Mm -hmm. sure. I knew mine yesterday. Is you... that whole song? Oh, oh, come on, come on. Well, let's try it. I've been practicing too. Wait till you hear me. One, two. Wishing will make it so. Just keep on wishing and care will go. Dreams come true. It's no mistake. And wishes are the dreams we dream when we're awake. The curtain of night will part if you are certain within your heart. So if you wish long enough. Wish strong enough, you will come to know. 
One, two. Wishing will make it so. Just keep on wishing and care will go. Dreamers tell Get us dreams come true. How long has this been going on? Only a few days. I hope you're not angry. Oh, no, no. But when you have as many youngsters on your hands as I have, you have a problem. Oh, I don't know. I like them. I do, too. But they don't like me. They call me Picklepuss. At heart, they're just little savages. But music, you know, has charms to soothe the savage breast. And if it has such an influence, and if you can do so much in a few days, I'm thinking... I wonder if you're thinking the same thing I am. Music has charms, and I like children, and children like me, and... I'll be getting out of here pretty soon. When I do, I'll be needing a job badly. It will be only an experiment, you understand? Yes, I know. We can't pay a high... Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Just so you'll pay me enough that I don't go around calling you pick a puss. Uh, I'd like to give them a surprise. So if you don't say anything, I won't say anything. How would they word? We won't tell anybody. We're going to get the big round tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a better painter, my friend. Maybe you'll become a better kid. <laughs> Six months of hard work. Well, I'm glad you haven't wasted your time, my friend. I've sold everything but this. I told you to take it out of the window since you telephoned to me. Oh, thanks. This is the best, I think. Yes. I'm not exactly ashamed of it myself. You don't want to sell it, eh? No, no, I don't want to sell it. I wouldn't mind getting rid of it, but uh, somehow I don't want to to take money for it. Oh. I thought maybe you were keeping it because uh, you, were, you were nursing a broken heart, eh? <laughs> oh, no. No. Broken heart is not for me. Life is what you make it, Kobe. From now on, I'm, I'm taking my fun where I find it. Oh, well, I'll be seeing you soon again. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Michael, I heard you were in town. I've had a terrible time running you down. Ah, uh, you've been gone a long time, mon ami. And I've been thinking of you morning, noon, and night, and in between times. What? Well, I know you've been busy, but... Could make the theater tonight, couldn't you? Well, I'll leave a ticket at your hotel. Where shall we go from here? Why, Michael, that's up to you. After all, this is your evening. I don't know where to go anymore. I just came back, you know. Hello. Let me tell you. No. I'll go get it. No. It's tough. The first time you're able to get out, you have to meet him. All I could say was, 
Show's over. The boy got the girl. Shall we go? It seems terrible taking you home with everybody going out. I'm going to ask you once more. Why don't you let me help you? And I'm going to tell you once more. If I let you finance my getting well, he wouldn't like it. And if he wouldn't like it, I wouldn't like it. And if you did get me well and I went to him, you wouldn't like it. Well, then, then certainly he ought to know. No, because if he found out, he'd want to do something about it. And then if I didn't get well, well, he wouldn't like it and I wouldn't like it. And you wouldn't like it. It would be awful. No. Unless I can walk to him one day and... When I say walk, I mean run. You'll never know. But I've got my job now, and I'm on a budget, and if everything works out all right, and I'm a good little girl, maybe I'll get what I want next Christmas. Well, thank you, ladies. Good night. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? The evening is so young and everything. No, I think I'll turn in. Some other time. Merry Christmas, everybody. Taking you to the theater wasn't a very good idea, was it, Michael? No. <laughs> Merry Christmas, please. Merry Christmas, Michael. Thank you. What's the matter, buddy? Feeling sorry for yourself? <laughs> you don't know what troubles are. Look at me. I live at 186th Street, and they won't let me on the subway. says I can't go. Oh. Look, Doctor, I could be back in a couple of hours. This is a Christmas benefit. It's our first public appearance. This is my team. She's our coach, Doc. Doctor. <laughs> Doctor. If it was going to hurt her, you wouldn't want her to go, would you? No. no. no you really don't need the piano. Come on, go through it once without me. The only place you might get stuck is right at the beginning. And, and, and Aloysius can sing an A in his sleep, can't you, Al? Sure. Come on, let's hear it. <laughs> See? Now, ready. One, two. <laughs> Where's Patsy Jane? She's got a sore throat, and she won't be able to go on the stage. Oh, come here, darling. Pretty new dress, too. You really want to go on the stage? Well, then I tell you what you do. You go right along with the rest of them, and you, you pretend to sing. You know, make believe, like this. <laughs> They'll never know the difference. Thank you, Miss McGee. You're welcome. Now, come on, pitch pipe. Give. Oh. One, two. Now, no, not too loud. There's a baby upstairs. One, two. Oh, <laughs> 
need me. Now go on. Go out there and fight for good old Washington Heights. Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. Goodbye. Goodbye. Merry Goodbye. Merry Good luck. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Patty. Well, this isn't going to be much of a Christmas for you, is it? No, I guess not. Are you comfortable? Yes, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. If you want anything, you just call. I will. Michelle. Hello. How are you, T? Good to see you. Yes, it's good to see you, too. Feeling all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine. I'm just resting. Oh. It's been a long time. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Good to see you. Yes, yeah, said that. May I? Oh, we just sit down. We don't live here a minute. You're sure you don't mind, I... I bet you're wondering how I got here. I was looking in the telephone book for a man named McBride when I saw the name of Terry McKay. So I said to myself, could that be Terry McKay, my old friend? <laughs> and it was. Yes. Then I said to myself, I haven't been very nice to Miss McKay. After all, I had an appointment with her one day at... Uh, and uh, I didn't keep it. That wasn't a very nice way to treat an old friend, was it? So I said to myself, I must apologize. And here I am. That's sweet of you. Yes, I think so. I often wondered about you, how you were. Oh, you did? Really? Well, I often wondered about you, too. So, you didn't get angry because I wasn't there? What do you think? I must have been at first. Yeah, that's I, what I, thought. I was. Mm. But first, I was furious. I said, he can't do a thing like this to me. Who does he think he is? And how long did you, I mean, did you wait long? Well, let's see, I, I waited until about... Midnight? Oh. And then what did you do? Well, then I was really mad. You can just imagine up there. In a thunderstorm? Yes. And then what did you say to yourself? Well, then I said, why don't you go home and get tight? <laughs> you didn't do that. Didn't I? Maybe you, you took a little one every hour for about a month. Oh, can you blame me? I should say not. At least I could have done was to send you a note. Well, maybe when you thought about it, you didn't know where to reach me. But uh, you swore that if you ever saw me again, you'd ask. You didn't? No. No, I remembered we said, if we could make it, we'd be there. And uh, if one of us didn't show up, there must have been a darn good reason. But what, for instance? And the other one shouldn't ask questions. Asking questions is... Life must be bright. We must keep it beautiful and bubbling like pink champagne. So there'll be no questions asked. I hope. I 
Cigarette? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Think of me walking all the way up here. Ten blocks. And instead, I promised not even to ask you why you didn't show up. You knew I was going to. Doesn't seem fair somehow. I know. I don't know what it is. But when I'm with you, I... Well... I saw you at the... At the theater last night? No, he was... Now. I didn't mean to offend you. How's everything with you, Michelle? Oh, so you can ask questions. Yeah. Well, I thought everything was fine until I saw you last night. Then I knew there must be something between us. Even if only a notion. No. So I bought myself a ticket. Sailing? Yes. Tonight. Yep. Well. You're happy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You? <laughs> I don't know. I'm worried about the future. What people would think of me. They'll say, there he goes, the mad painter. There must be something the matter with him. <laughs> he doesn't like women. <laughs> you mean he won't even speak to them? Oh, yes, yes. He sails the seven seas. And to every woman he meets, he says, where will you be in six months? <laughs> everywhere. Eiffel Tower, pyramids, everywhere, waiting. But he didn't. Where is he? Waiting. Oh. You want to change the subject? Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Oh, I almost forgot. Well, six months ago, who would have thought we'd spend Christmas together? By the way, I have a present for you. Right. I wish I had something for you. Well, you didn't know I was going to. Anyway, it's not really a Christmas present. Oh. So that's why my letters came back. She wanted you to have it. Remember? Yes, I remember. I would have sent it to you, only I didn't know your address until two days. Well, goodbye, Terry. Goodbye, Michelle. you'd seen it. Courbet says he's my dealer. He says it's the best thing I've done. I didn't think I would ever part with it, but there was no reason for keeping it anymore. And then he told me about a girl who came into his shop. He told me she liked it very much. I suppose she saw in it, well, what I hoped you'd see. So I told him to give it to her. Because he said she was poor, and not only that, he told me that she would. Yes, she couldn't afford. 
afford it, and it was Christmas season. You know me, big heart of Michel. What time does your boat sail? Boat? Why didn't you tell me, Terry? Darling. If anything had to happen to one of us, why did it have to be you? Oh, don't look at me like that. It wasn't anybody's fault but my own. I was looking up at the 102nd floor. It was the nearest thing to heaven. You see, have to be a miracle. If you can paint, I can walk. <laughs> Anything can happen, don't you think? Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> 